Hey guys, so still no editing software, but we're just gonna run this week in single takes. So, got a minute? So tonight we were at a Bible study and um, I was talking to some of the guys there. And one of the things that kind of really caught my mind was this idea that we look at other people, we look at um, different biblical characters, and we want to repeat the things that they do, thinking that we're gonna just get the same result. And so what we kind of came to was this conclusion that a lot of times what our natural thing is, is we like to put mechanics over the heart. And so like the mechanics that I would think of, if you look in the book of Daniel, we see that Daniel, um, he, he kind of takes this approach of, hey, I'm going to eat this diet. And um, it's called in many places now, we call it the Daniel fast, where you eat only fruits and vegetables. And then there's some uh, different distinctions there. And so then we read about other people that, you know, try this Daniel fast, right? And um, they're like, oh man, I came out of it and I had this awesome experience and it was this amazing thing. And so a lot of times what that becomes is it's us saying, okay, well, I'm going to do the Daniel fast. And then at the end, I'm going to have this awesome experience with God. It's going to happen just like it did with them. Or, hey, I'm, you know, like this person went into a closet, literal closet, and they prayed there for, you know, three hours. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to pray for three hours. And then I'm going to feel the presence of God. Or I'm going to have this awesome experience. And then it doesn't happen. We get disappointed. And it's all entirely because we are trying to do a mathematical equation whenever God is looking for a relationship. We're trying to do this mathematical equation of, you know, like my time, you know, my efforts, my energy equals experience with God because that's what somebody else did. And if I do what they do, then God's going to give, you know, he's going to do the same thing with me because we don't really care about the relationship. We care about the results, which is why we put mechanics over top of our heart. So I just want to encourage you, um, anything that you do, um, whether it be on a daily basis um, whether it be something that you feel like you're called to do, if you're fasting or different things like that, make it something that connects you to God. That's all it needs to be about. Not about experiences, but God, look, I love you, and I'm going to do this out of my love for you. And then, no matter what happens, the relationship gets bigger. The relationship grows, and you can be successful no matter what you do because you've dedicated that thing to God. So thanks for taking a minute. See you all tomorrow for another one take.